Hello, it's Saul Hobbs. A friend and I were having a conversation about some of the people that we draw inspiration from. And for me, it's a long list. Um, I can learn something from a stranger just as quick as I can learn it from somebody famous. But I like Zig Ziglar. And one of Zig Ziglar's sayings is, if people like you, they'll listen to you. But if they trust you, they'll buy from you. So I apply that principle wrapped up in my, my, my marketing strategy is value driven. Uh, I market with integrity. Like if I'm, I haven't yet, but if I ever did, I would tell you, and I don't have any plans to, you know, I'm working on a course, but I don't, I don't think it, it costs anything. It's, there's no price tag attached to it right now because adding value um, is its reward in itself as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, I'm, I'm value driven and I'm customer centric. And because of that, I don't market everything that comes along because that will not make me trustworthy, especially if it's in a hot niche or a hot industry like video creation. If every week you're marketing the best video creator there is, um, do you think the people that continue to buy from you are going to believe that crap? So I like to pick something and, and, and I take my time picking the next thing. Um, I try not to have things going that overlap because if it's a good product, I can sell it over and over. You know, maybe someone didn't buy it the first round, but maybe they need it a couple months down the line. But if every week they see me trying to sell the same thing from a different creator, kind of muddles things. Plus, I market more on the corporate side and, and business to business. Uh, that's my niche. And that requires more training and more uh, protocols in place to make sure it's done the way the companies want to do it because I don't, I'm talking about multi-million dollar, multi-billion dollar companies marketing for. It's where the money's at. But there's money in this part of affiliate marketing too and there's more money and more you can make more money and last longer by marketing value. So that brings me to the next thing. How can you possibly be believable marketing a product and giving a product review about something you've never ever tried, never put your hands on, and never touched? Think about that. So we, could, we can talk about that the next time. Um, I have a lot of thoughts on that subject, um, just from a common sense point of view.